MIBG is a chemical that was found a long time ago to be taken up by neuroblastoma cells. Um, and what you can do is you can actually link radiation to the MIBG chemical. We can use that to do scans to see where kids have neuroblastoma in their bodies, but we can also add a higher amount of radiation to the MIBG and actually use it to treat neuroblastoma. MIBG differs from traditional chemotherapy and our traditional radiation in that it's much more targeted. It's meant to treat the neuroblastoma cells specifically, and although it still has other side effects, it has less side effects than some of our other treatments. The other real benefit is that it treats patients' pain very well. Sometimes we don't see radiographic response for several weeks, but patients often report a decrease in their pain within a couple of days. It's given in a different way than some kinds of radiation. It's actually a liquid solution given through an IV. You can't see the radiation. The patient is in a bed surrounded by lead shields um, so that the radiation is sort of contained uh, near the patient. There are some eligibility requirements for MIBG therapy. Right now, the MIBG is available only for patients who have relapsed or refractory neuroblastoma. We also require that patients have MIBG scans that show active disease. We also have uh, certain blood count requirements for MIBG therapy. And we recommend that patients have stem cells stored prior to therapy. Following the MIBG treatment, the patients go home and they can resume their normal activities. We have them have blood counts checked twice a week. Um, that can be done at home, um, either by their visiting nurse or um, at their home institution. And then about six to eight weeks following the MIBG treatment, we repeat scans to see the effect of the treatment. MIBG has been studied in clinical research trials, and we now know the dose that is most effective to use for MIBG um, when we give it alone. We also have a few research trials that combine it with other kinds of chemotherapy agents to see if the chemotherapy can help the MIBG work better. One trial looks at MIBG with a kind of chemotherapy called a renotecan, and uh, the other um, trial uses MIBG combined with a newer kind of anti-cancer drug called varinostat. Uh, the purpose of both of those drugs is to increase the effectiveness of the MIBG. Treatment is available at four or five other institutions in the country. This is the only place in New England uh, that patients can get MIBG therapy. Um, it's really one of the most effective therapies for relapsed neuroblastoma, and we feel really lucky that we're able to give it here. Um, we're hoping that these new therapies that are being done through some of the cooperative groups will make MIBG even more effective.